welcome Marco Antonio Rodrigues da Cunha, Subsecretary of Industry, Commerce and Services in Minas Gerais. I'm a representative of Minas Gerais State Government, and my mission tonight is to introduce you all to the opportunities uh, that my state offers for, to those uh, who want to invest abroad or want to take risks in partnership over there. You heard uh, uh, the Brazilian government in presentation of BNDS and six semiconductor experience showing as a company could be supported by the federal and state level of government.
my job. After those uh, highlights in a glance, I invite you to know a little more about the state. Uh, Minas Gerais is bigger than France plus Belgium in terms of territory. With economy, if you me measure by GDP, larger than all Central and South American countries, except seven of them. Brazil, Mexico, Argentina, Colombia, Venezuela, Chile, and Peru, but not so far from the last two. Its population is five times those of Uruguay. It's the second largest industrial economy in Brazil. It has an impressive infra infrastructure that can allow investments in any kind of productive sector. That's the reason the state had a huge amount of investment in the last nine years, around $109 billion. Uh, just updating this figure in the chart. That create more than 500,000 jobs. Logistic is the middle name of Minas Gerais. Five of the first top 10 wholesalers in South America are located within the state. Well served by roads, railroads, airport, uh, one of the industrial airport with his, his special fiscal treatment. There are five dry ports which allows the Brazilian custom to adopt the same procedures of the regular port. And we must remember that Minas Gerais is a Mediterranean state. Talking about logistics, it sent me to analyze Minas and its geographical position before the market. Look into the present chart, considering the three main economic state capital in Brazil, uh, São Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, and Belo Horizonte, and considering this logic from the Bayer Center, if we consider 500 miles radius, this circle shows us inside an important market with huge volume of potentials purchasing power consumers. In comparison with another country's markets, only USA and Canada has something alike or better in the Americas. Now, my presentation will focus the, on the infrastructure that we are preparing to welcome uh, high technology companies, a six semiconductor, where all the best conditions are being prepared to, to provide high competitiveness in terms of electric power, gas, water, telecommunication, fiber optics, and whatever is necessary to make it, it one of the best places in the world to make research, to develop and produce intelligence and high-tech goods. It's about 3.6 million square meters dedicated to improving the new economy in our state. We are located in front of a highway only 15 miles far from the international airport and we will be linked by a new highway, a brand new one, that starts to be under construction in the next six months. But more than good conditions to start up new business in the state, there are a complete system to provide support to the entrepreneur. As you can see, you can count with a secretary for economic development able to guarantee any kind of assistance to invo uh, investors or to those who want to rule business in Minas, including industry, commerce, and services. In parallel, there is an operational system where the development bank is responsible for providing funding and financing solutions, which include the possible transitory equity participation on strategic projects. SEMIG, the biggest integrated power utility in Brazil, is prepared to provide energy in high volume and quality with good price. Cadabig is the one responsible for providing land and the infrastructure for industrial districts. Juseng is the bureau where the entrepreneur can register his company for legal aspects and have done it 
in the maximum of seven days. This is the best score in Brazil. In the, uh, the Industrial Development Institute is uh, the front door for those that uh, are interested in do business or invest in the state. It's a non-profit organization uh, specialized in promote the state and support investor. It's very unique in Brazil. Describing some benefits, Minas Gerais have its own funds to provide credit by BDMG and financial solutions for fixed or working capital. Innovation has a particular treatment and uh, is listed among the main priorities of the state uh, development policy. As I said before, equity transitory participation again by BDMG in innovative companies could be an option. One point to be emphasizing, labor and education. These two things related have special attention of several secretariats of the state government. And there are a lot of programs in partnership with private sector and entities or organizations committed with the idea to make Minas Gerais the most accurate professional education system of Brazil. Recognized as one of the best programs of improving labor skills, the PEP, Professional Education Program, is a reference for other states and has applied more than $30 million in the last two years. Many people came abroad recently, and there are several exchange student programs that demand proficiency in English and other languages, what makes international schools increase its facilities in the state. A successful educational system consisted in prepare people in large scale with quality and have to balance between technicians, graduate, and postgraduate people, according to the present and future mark demand, which include persons prepared to face challenges of innovation. Funding and incentives are being provided for that. As a result, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of brand names companies are joining the state to make a new economy based on R&D, innovation, design application products in a symbiosis that are making Minas Gerais remarkable and unique in this process. A strong partnership between the government state and private sector is making the difference and is helping the companies to increase its operation in Brazil and make a lot of money. Fiat, for instance, used to be the fourth automobile producer in the 70s, around 120,000 vehicles per year. And with a very deep support from the state and a lot of self-ability, today is the number one in Brazil, producing around 1 million vehicles in 2012, with a 25% of Brazilian market share. That's what happens with those that believe in a close partnership and bet on it.